Hi everyone, my name is Julie Sebi. I write the Analytics Corner blog that focuses on data engineering, analytics, and visualization with Alteryx and Spotfire. You can find my site at the URL shown on the screen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Iron Python and document properties to set the min and max values of multiple scales on a visualization. Here's the visualization that I was working with. And as you can see, I have four columns on my y-axis, planned and actual cost, and then QM planned and actual costs. <laughs> And I really want one scale on each side, but with the options available to me and properties, I'm always going to wind up with four scales. So you can see I've selected multiple scales, and I've selected four each color. I could also select four each line, and I could also change the colors to be the same, but even if I were to make these two colors the same, I still wind up with four scales rather than two. I don't, I don't quite understand that, but I'm just going to work with it because that's what I've got. So if I can't get down to two scales, the scales on each side must have the same min and max, otherwise the chart is just too hard to read. Now every time the data updates, this scale range is probably going to need to change and going into the properties dialog to adjust it is just far too inefficient and I don't want my users to have to do that. Now I knew I could set the scale range with document properties in Iron Python and I just needed a little bit of code to get started. I found a really great post by Sayali Patel on the Tibco community that I used as my starting point. And so here's that link, how to read and set values for access range in multiple scales, that is exactly what I'm trying to do. And here is her code snippet. And you can see that she starts by importing a line chart visualization and an axis range. The line chart is defined, as is the axis range and the column. This reference here, sum column one, is just a reference to whatever is on her chart. And then she prints out the min and the max of that column. So this is what I started with, and I just made a couple modifications to it. Obviously, I knew I wanted to connect with document properties, so I went ahead and created two input document properties that are set up as real data types. So I set these up and I inserted some default values, and let's go take a look at the code that I'm using in here. So I'm still beginning by importing the line chart and the axis range. I have even kept her objects the same. Where I started to make changes was in line 6. In line 6, I leave the min axis range to 0, but the max is now going to reference my document property. And then I modified her line of code that was looking at the sum of column 1 to look at my column, and then I also copied and pasted from line 7 to 8 so that I could set the same range for both of those columns. I also did some more copying and pasting so I could get the same printout. And then I just took all of this and replicated it for my second scale, my red scale. And of course, I updated the column names in all of the relevant places. And then to finish it up, I created a script parameter that will physically connect the line chart in my DXP to the code. And if I click Run Script, you'll see that I get my printouts. That just lets me know that everything worked okay. And let's just double check here that if I make a modification, change that from 1.5 million to 1.7, and let's go from 15 million to 17 million, and click the button, and now my scales update. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channel and subscribe for the latest content. Thank you.